Note, although this video is part of a longer series, you can still watch it in any order you'd like. Those of you who've actually slept with a friend's mom or dad, how did it go down? Story 21. It started out with my buddy and myself getting drunk at a party. The night was settling down and him and I were just BSing before calling it a night. I jokingly told him his mum was hot and if given the chance I'd take it. Well, I guess he thought it was funny and there was no chance with his mum so he told her what I said. Fast forward a month or so, we're at her house for Thanksgiving dinner. I notice she's having a lot of wine throughout the evening. After dinner she comes and sits on my lap in the living room and that's when I knew exactly how the night was going to end. I was early twenties and she was early forties. She taught me a few things that night. After that night, I started to affectionately call my buddy, Son. He was pissed about it for a long time, but eventually got over it. Story 22. One was totally random, and by surprise, I came to pick up a friend to go to a party. He had already left. This was before everyone had a cell phone. His mum had been fighting with her husband for a long time. She opened the door and let me in without saying a word, then moved out of sight fast. She was drunk, AF. When I came in, she started stripping. We never spoke about it again. Here's another one. I went on a blind date set up by some girls at work. She was a total rude and hateful bee to everyone but me. The waiter, innocent bystanders, etc. I took her home early after she aimed her sights at me because I wasn't. As fun as she hoped. Hmm. Wonder why. When I got there, she had already texted her girlfriends, and they were in the driveway when we arrived at her house. She got in their car and left again immediately. Her mum came outside a moment later and approached me. I explained the night to her, then she invited me in for coffee. She explained the difficulties with her wild daughter, which she had at fifteen to me, as best she could. We told each other a little about ourselves, and I made a joke that I should have been set up with her instead, and said she seemed very nice, and I honestly thought she was a bombshell. But I'm thirty-four, she says. I was twenty. I told her she was more attractive on the inside and outside than any twenty-year-old I'd dated recently, from what I could tell. We did it multiple times. I stayed the night. The next morning, her daughter came home again. Why is his car still here? Her mum was in the kitchen cooking us some breakfast, as I lay on the couch in her spare robe. She says, You might not know a good man when you meet one, but I do. Go to your dad's for a while if you don't like it. I get back to work the Monday after, and the ladies that set us up had heard all about it. Turns out they thought she was a bee, and I was nice, and they hoped it would rub off on her, dating a nicer guy. They thought the fact that it didn't, and that I banged her mum was even better, instantly promoted to legendary status at work. She went to HR. They did nothing. She quit her job a few days later. After that, I became a work legend. Every new hire introduced to me heard some version of Watch this guy, if you cross him, he'll bang your mum. This is the perfect revenge. Girl had her mum banged, herself humiliated and was out of a job. Guy must be a king at work now. Story 23. Never slept with her, but my female friend's mum was smoking hot. I was maybe 20, she was late 30s to early 40s. I used to head over to her house to chill and pre-game a bit. And one day, my friend was late from work, and I was waiting in her living room. Mum walked out of the shower and through the hall, naked. She kind of half-embarrassingly stumbled left and right as we were both surprised, and she goes, AF it, I'm sure you've seen them before, and casually walked by me, stopped, did a little twirl, and into her room. Walked out dressed ten mins later. She said, Sorry, didn't know you were in here, and she didn't mean to make it weird. In my brain I probably said something smooth, but my mouth was just gibberish and she laughed. My friend gets home, and her mum goes, Hey, Keith saw me naked today. Friend goes, Mum, it's so weird when you walk around naked, even with just me in the house you need to stop that shit. Not quite banging, but I got to see my friend's hot mum show all the goods. Story 24. I didn't sleep with her, but we made out and almost did it. For two reasons we didn't. One of my high school friends and I were in a bowling league on a team with his mum and a couple of her co-workers. On Fridays, the three of us would go bowling just for fun. League games were on Wednesdays. 
One Friday night, when my friend was visiting his dad across the state, his mum suggested that she and I could still go. So we did. It was fun. We'd met at their house, and she drove to the alley. When we got back to her house to get my car, she invited me in. That's when the making-out started, just out of nowhere. She started it. It was great, but we just suddenly mutually stopped. I felt guilty because, well, it was my good friend's mum. I guess she felt guilty because I was her son's good friend. She told me it just wouldn't be right. I agreed. So that's the first reason it stopped. Second, I was only 16, haha. 18 is the age of consent in California. Back then, I thought it was cool, making out with an older lady. But now, as a 37-year-old man, what if I tried that with a 16-year-old girl? Yeah, it's super creepy. Not cool. Anyway, I haven't seen either of them since a couple years after high school. Not because of that, though. We still bowled and hung out for a few more years and never spoke of it. As far as I know, he still doesn't know. Life just happens. Story 25. I slept with my friend's aunt. My friend and his wife passed out from a long night of drinking and abusing some type of pills. I don't know, I only really smoke weed. But that night we snorted crushed up pills and drank lots of booze. They got really tired and went to their bedroom. I was invited to stay on the couch. I'm about to lose consciousness on the couch when my buddy's aunt comes out to the living room and tells me I can sleep on her bed if I would like, since the couch was tiny. I took her offer. As I'm laying on my back and the room is almost spinning, and I'm feeling a little sick from abusing alcohol, this crazy girl starts pulling at my pants and just gobbles me up. She was younger than my buddy, but older than me by a few years. She liked me a lot. I just liked having someone I could do in any way possible. She would never say no, and she was a great sport. Taught me that it's okay to be a freak. Story 26. Never slept with a mate's mom, but I did sleep with both my mother's best friend and my godfather's ex-girlfriend. To make the story more interesting, my mother was the one to set these up. So this was back when I was 18. My mother was dropping my sister off at elementary school when she met her now not best friend. They connected on mutual interests like dancing and having an out-there sense of humour. One day, I come home from community college and I see my mother sitting in the living room with S and I say my hello and go into my room to relax and play mag. A few days go by and S comes into my room and starts talking to me. I didn't understand too much of what she was saying because at the time I still was horrible with Spanish, even though my whole family is Mexican, but I could still hold an amateur conversation. One of the things I had trouble understanding was her question, me says bien. I took it literally as, do I fall well slash good? While apparently it means, do you like me? Anyways, I told her maybe, as in, I don't know, maybe I fall well. She smiled and started to come into my room more often every other day or so, to speak with me, even bringing along those crappy Walmart portable DVD players to play Mexican love songs. Eventually she got way more aggressive and began to crawl into my bed and gave me seductive looks, almost forcibly trying to flutter her eyes that were caked in blue and greenish shades of eyeshadow. This woman was young, about 27 if I recall correctly, and curvy. She was a mother after all, but she wasn't fat. She was big in all the right places, if you can imagine. Well, I was a horny teen, I was not about to say no. She would pop one out to entice me. We fooled around a few times until not too soon after she began to become obsessive over me. A month or so went by, and her visits became more frequent. The advances became more aggressive. She began to show up drunk, and wanting to kiss me in front of my family. I believed my family knew nothing about us, so I was very hesitant to allow it, and I would push her off me. This, of course, hurt her feelings, and it was a very scary mistake. A week goes by. I'm laying in bed watching YouTube. It's 3am and I hear my door creak open and it's S. She walks to my bedside and she is just staring down at me. I simply say, what's up? She says nothing, only stares. A tear formed under her eyes and her mouth curls down, as if to snarl but before so my mum calls out to me, asking who's in my room. I say, it's S, why? S immediately leaves my room and the house. Apparently my mother had let her in. That night, my mum went to get a glass of water when she saw S sitting on our front porch. 
She had told my mum that she locked herself out of her apartment and didn't know where else to go for the night. Things get worse, but to cut the story short, I threatened to call the police after S got violent with me. I never heard from her again, but my mother did get some threatening texts. I had a talk with my mum later that week to understand what had just happened. Turns out, S asked about me that very first day and confessed to my mum that I was attractive. My mum jokingly said to go make him a man and that she didn't care. On top of ask that, my mother knew all along my escapades with S and that S told my mother everything. In her words, I was a Don Juan en la cama. Hearing my mother say that was embarrassing. Holy the red flags were flying high with this one. What's the saying? Don't something something in crazy. Someone can translate in the comments what the mum said. Story 27. I think I posted this story before, but I had an ongoing F-buddy situation with one of my high school friend's mum, but it was way after high school, and I hadn't been super close with that friend in a few years. I was about 25 and she was about 45, I believe. Anyway, it started out with her, and I ending up working together. Like super close. Usually just us two, on a graveyard shift. We got along great because we knew each other from when I would be at her house, visiting her son in high school. It went from laughing and joking to mild flirtation. Little stuff like, Dang, you're looking good today, or You smell so good, back and forth for about a month. Then she started getting handsy like women do. Then I started with the physical flirting as well. Eventually that led to us hanging out after work. Like if I had errands to run, I'd ask if she wanted to come along, just to get out of the house or whatever. Then we started doing other things like going out to play pool or get food. Then one night, on our days off, she texted super late to come pick her up because she was bored. I was bored watching movies anyway, so I went and got her. I think I might have made the first move, but, yeah, we ended up going at it pretty much all night off and on. In the morning, I took her back to her place, but we ended up hanging out again later that day, which turned into her staying overnight again. From there, that's pretty much how it went for about half a year or so. We definitely made the decision to keep it on the down low because of her son. Eventually, we both ended up getting into different relationships almost around the same time. We're still friendly when we see each other, when I go back home anyway. Have you liked the video yet? Thank you for watching this far. There's still a few more stories to go. Story 28. Visited my childhood best friend after about ten years away. I was in my early thirties. We grew up from first grade to graduation, and then I moved away. Never visited. Finally, I reconnected with my old best friend, and I made plans to visit when I was near my hometown for work. I get to his place a bit early, and his mum is there babysitting his kids. We have about 30 mins to catch up. She'd known me since first grade, and was basically a second mum to me back then. She was always a good-looking woman, but now in her late 40s, maybe early 50s. She looked amazing. Something was in the air, but I was too hesitant to call it tension. My friend gets there. We have a good catch-up and make plans for later in the week. She left about halfway through our visit, and tells me to come over after but not to tell her son. I was blown away to have my suspicions confirmed. I was not going to miss that chance. I went over after, and we started making out as soon as I walked in the door, the same old door I'd been walking in and out of since I was a kid. It took about three minutes to go from making out to doing it on her couch. The couch she never let us sit on as kids, in the room with white carpet we weren't allowed to walk through. I remember having that thought as she was bent over the arm of that couch. We repeated that a few times that week before I left town again. We chatted on the phone a few times, and she admitted she'd wanted it for a long time. Now that it was out of her system, she said we couldn't do it again. I've gotten close to my old friend since then, and we've spent more time together. There's no awkwardness between her and I. If anything, we're closer than ever in a real caring way. I hope he never finds out. I'd hate to hurt him that way. Story 29 in college, I worked at an apartment complex during the summers. Working there also allowed me to be able to go to the pools they had on site, which was a big perk. The manager didn't care about bringing food or alcohol down, so my friends and I would hang out there on really hot evenings. We would jump in the pool, have a few drinks, jump back in the pool and so on. About two weeks into the job, I noticed that this lady keeps coming out basically every time I would go and relax. A week after that, she strikes up a convo with me. 
really introductory stuff, jokes and all that jazz. It was honestly somewhat surreal. She was a red-headed nurse with an amazing body. She was about 40 but could have easily passed for 30. Huge butt. She would bend over and basically present it to me to pick up things right next to her. Eventually I left that job and stopped hanging out at the pool. Fast forward a year, this girl in my friend group, who is a 10 out of 10 mega babe, starts flirting with me, really, really hardcore. We get to talking, and it turns out her mum lived at the apartments I had worked at. I didn't make the connection because they didn't share the same last name. Looking back, I remembered the woman from the pool mentioning that her daughter would love me, and referring to her by her middle name. Anyways, I don't think much of it. Megababe and I start up a basically daily smoke and bang routine. A lot of the time she would finish in the same way and say sorry after. This goes on for about six months, until she moved to another state. About a month after she moved, she texted me asking to grab something for her from her mum's apartment. I thought it was strange that she hadn't just texted her mum to send it via mail, but whatever. I drove back to the apartments I used to work at, and go knock on the hot nurse's door, where I am greeted by her in her matching all-black underwear. Oh, hey, X. Megababe said you'd be dropping by. Here, come on in. You're not busy, are you? It was about 9pm. No, Mrs. Megababe. Surprisingly, I have nothing going on tonight. Great. Come on in and have a seat. I'm just going to get changed, and I'll grab the stuff Megababe wanted for you. Can I get you a drink? No, I'm fine, thank you. Oh, help me with this wine. I just opened the bottle. OK, I guess I can have one. One drink turned into about six, and she did change, into a robe with nothing on underneath. Eventually she asked me if I wanted to watch a gangster movie, Depression Era and all that. I figured, hey, why not? I literally have nothing better going on. About ten minutes into the movie she starts talking to me about Mega Babe and all the things she would say about me in passing, then immediately changed the subject and asked if I wanted to thumb wrestle. Yes, you read that right, thumb wrestle. I win several times. She gets flirtatiously upset, growls, and then bites my thumb. Then she starts sucking on my thumb. It was at this point where I had zero hesitation. I picked her up and carried her to her bed, started going down on her, which she said in the moment that it wasn't fair. We then did it like bunnies for the next few hours. I had never and have never been able to go back to back to back like that since. Oh, and she and Megababe had the same exact way of finishing, which was a little strange. We ended up making it a regular thing until she started dating someone closer to her age a few months later. Never got that thing I was supposed to send Mega Babe. Did get the best night of my life. Story 30. I did it with my friend's girlfriend's mum last October. It was honestly top three best bedroom experiences I've ever had. It started with me following her on Instagram, and any time I was around her I'd compliment her, or flirt with her. Finally, I invite her to join us at an Oktoberfest event, and we are flirting, so finally I go for a kiss and she was into it. She offers to give me a ride back to my friend's house, and as soon as we park, she leans over and starts giving me head. This goes on for about five minutes, then we get out and I bend her over her car and did it until I finished inside her. When my buddy's girlfriend found out she was super pissed, but it was definitely worth it. Wow! It's my first time hearing of thumb wrestling being used as a seduction tactic. But anyways, that's it for part three. Keep your eyes peeled for part four coming tomorrow. Let me know which story was your favourite in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more Reddit stories like this. I hope to see you in the next video.